What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel another video. Today, I'm doing something, I don't know, I don't even know if it's gonna work, but I'm still gonna try it and if it works, yes. And if it doesn't, we will figure it out. So I was going around the color wheel and that is how I selected the colors. So cerulean blue, phthalo blue in the blue section with a titanium white. Then we got a violet and then a violet mixed with a little bit of white and some titanium white for this red violet section. For the orange, red orange section, I have a fluorescent orange and then an orange I did mix with a little bit of red with some titanium white to layer it with. And then for the yellows, I have a deep yellow and then a light yellow with some titanium white to, to layer them with. The whole idea of this pour is, it's kind of, I don't know. I don't know if it's gonna work. Okay, so I'm gonna layer these colors, these colors, these colors, and these colors in their own cups and they're gonna have quadrants and it's gonna be like four different flip cups in the center. There's no silicone mixed in any of these colors at all. Then I'm gonna swipe titanium white over the top of them. Now keep in mind, they're gonna be layered in the cups so when they come out, they're gonna have their own flows to them. Take the titanium white, swipe over top of it, hopefully leaving a thin layer of white. That is the dream. Then going in with our magic serum and toothpicks and doing chameleon cells. And hopefully we'll have some pretty cool color difference across the canvas. Now, that's the idea, you guys. That was a long intro to talk about what I wanna do and I apologize for that. So I am gonna cut down this video length a little bit by just, I'm gonna layer it, but I'm gonna speed this part up so you don't have to watch me layering each individual color. But I did want you to see what I was doing instead of me coming here with colors already layered white around the cups. So when you flip them, colors can kind of flow underneath the white. That is cool looking, you guys. Um, I'm probably not gonna do very much more because I love the little wisps of the colors. I know when the silicone keeps spreading, it's gonna push other colors off. That's the only thing I'm worried about is I don't wanna lose a giant section of this or have these cells grow so much that there's nothing left, you know what I mean? Or these cells expand off. So, shoot, I think this is really cool just the way it is right now. It's very wispy and delicate, beautiful. So yeah, so I'm gonna take a chance. I'm just gonna, we're gonna say this is good and I'm gonna give it a couple moments. These cells are gonna continue to expand a little bit and then I'm gonna set it off to dry. We'll see it wet, we'll see it dry, and then you can decide for yourself if you like it. All right, so I gave it about 20 minutes. These cells should be expanded close to the limit that they're gonna expand it on. That's what I'm hoping for, because I'm hoping all these really nice wispy areas just stay this way. But it is stunning right now. I can honestly say that I love the way this came out. So the colors just tend to push into each other and leave subtle little hints that they were there. And then in the areas where there's no cells, it has this really gorgeous, wispy appearance. Hello, Piper. I don't know where you are right now. This thing came out so nice. Even in each little cell, there's something like little universes of their own. 